Okay, I just finished watching the Audio Workshop 8 Song Select Playlist JavaScript Tutorial by Adam Curry. I'm going to show you my version of his tutorial, and then I have one more, and it's this ninth one, and I haven't watched that yet. So right now, I'm just going to go over the Workshop 8, Audio Workshop 8. Okay, so up here I've got my audio player, then I have... Uh, from an earlier video code that allows you to see what track is playing. Then the next video gave us this next section that allowed us to change the speed and this last section for video 8 allows us to use a drop down to actually choose what song. Um, Example.html if I go all the way down to the bottom, right before the end of the body, the end of the HTML, you see I have yet another pair of H2 tags. For each H2 gives us another little section with another little snippet that we just learned. So in this H2, we've got select ID equals my list, and I misspelled size equals 3 because I wanted to show you the difference between just the select with an ID and then what happens when we give it this attribute of size equals 3. So here's what size equals 3 looks like in the opening select tag. Let's refresh it. Go through a few of these little code things. And so instead of having this drop down where you only see one line at a time and it opens and closes, you actually see it opens and it stays opened. Alright, so I kinda like that but I wanted to style it because I wanted it to look a little nicer than this. So when I go to my style sheet here, I did a couple of things. One, in my H2 I had, here's a width, I also had a height of 40 pixels, but I took the height off so that this uh, H2 element, this header element that I styled, could grow or shrink depending on what elements inside of it. So I took that off. H2 no longer has a uh, height. And I have this set of styles right here for my list. And I misspelled it because I didn't want you to see the styles yet. And I'll spell it properly. This right here is going to jump up to a font size of 20 pixels. The font family is going to become cursive so it looks more like this up here. Uh, the color of the font will be maroon. The padding will be 10 pixels. The overflow will be hidden so you don't see these little this little scroll area over here. And the, there will be a border of 10 pixels pink inset. So once I refresh my page you'll see all of these styles. Okay, so that's how I improved that look. And the JavaScript is going to show us how we can click on a song now. And it's going to change uh, what song the media player is playing. And it's also going to reflect in this particular uh, inner HTML what selection that we make as well. Okay, so I let you see the example. Don't need to look at that anymore. I let you see the CS, uh, CSS. Don't need to look at that anymore. Let's just look at the action. So going to the top of the page, we added a new variable to our variable list here. So we added a comma and the new variable called my list to this whole big long var list. So here's our new variable my list. This right here is has the ID of my list. And let's scroll down and see where else my list is. So we set it in the set object references references section. So my list equals document dot get element by ID. My list. Let's see where else my list is highlighted. Right here under the add event handling section. We have my list dot add event listener and in parentheses change, comma change track. So the change event is going to call the change track function. So now let's find the new function that we created. 
and here's the function right here and it's all of this function change track and then we have event in parentheses so that's the parameter and the first line uh, the first statement inside that is audio dot source equals dir plus event dot target dot value plus ext the next is playlist underscore status dot inner dot um, so I'm sorry it's playlist underscore status dot inner html equals event dot target dot value plus ext and then audio dot play so each time we change one of these guys it calls this and the playlist underscore status dot enter html this right here this part of the um, page um, is called playlist status and the dot enter html means the the text that you see on the inside of that element it's going to be set equal to the event target here value plus the extension so here you see so yesterday changed to so yesterday plus it adds this extension which is dot mp3 if it's a certain type of browser and it's an aug if it's another type of browser and I'll show you that which that's old code as well it's not new code if I run this and I want to think Firefox I think it'll show aug file I haven't actually tested this before I did this part of the video, but when I did the um, code that dealt with the difference between MP3s and AUG files, it worked there. So I'm going to assume that this will show for you.aug and groove with you.aug and so yesterday.aug as soon as this opens in Firefox and here's Firefox and again that's code from an earlier oh look what I did I had action highlighted I needed the HTML right click this set it with notepad I did this before I tried to open the JavaScript in the browser that's not what I need I need the HTML to run in the browser so let's try that again launch in Firefox And here we go, it should say dot .aug. This is what the whole thing looks like in Firefox, if I can get it to not freeze. As soon as this is done, doing whatever. Okay, it says aug file right there. And yep, aug. So open this up all the way you get to see it's a little bit different but let's test it and make sure it works let's go to 2 and it is speeding up I'm gonna come down here and hit this one went to groove with you so yesterday for you and again each time we make a change whether it's here or up here in order for the speed to continue to be fast, you actually have to change it once and then change it again. And then it speeds up. I'm not really sure why that is. So basically when I click here, it goes back to normal speed. And if I if I want it to go fast again, then I have to move this and then move it back to two or whatever. And then it changes. But each time I click a new song, it starts uh, it defaults to the proper speed. All right, so that um, completes the Audio Workshop 8 Song Select Playlist JavaScript tutorial, my version. The next one I'll have one more little H2 tag down here and that will reflect 
his ninth video in this playlist, audio playlist, play buttons, JavaScript program tutorial. So that'll be the last one I do tonight.